How to capture a gradient from an image in Affinity Photo. All the different colours, the greens, the greys, the browns, etc. First thing you do, just go over here to Swatches. You can find that in the window menu. Then go right side menu down to Create Palette from, and I'm going to select Document Palette. So Create Palette from Document. All the colours from this document will be generated. Click there and now you can see all the colours. Next step, create an additional layer. Go to Layer and New Fill Layer. Select that and now you'll see a gradient layer. Just go over here to the gradient tool and you can manipulate that, move it around, reposition it. But what you can also do is you can add stops to it. So hover over, you can see a little plus. Just click and you can add say 10, 15 stops, depending on how many you want. For purposes of this video, I'm only gonna create five or six. But now simply go up here, select that one, and you can see that will be slightly bigger than all the others. Just go over here to swatches and just click, and that will change the color there. Click this one and click the color. Go with this one, click this color and so on. You can go all the way down. So let's just select that one, maybe that brown, go down, maybe that one, that brown there. There's a lot of browns in this, so brown there and down to the last one there and maybe go up the top and you can see some pink. So you've got this gradient that basically represents that image. What we can then do is you can go over here, select the move tool. So select that and you'll notice what happens. You get this gradient applied to this. So now what you can do is you can go down here and you've got options here, add current fill to palette. And there's another one there, add current color as a global. I'm just gonna go here and just click this one but I don't want it in this panel. I just want it to gradients. So gradients, you can see all my gradients. You should have that. If you haven't, you'll have to create a category for it. So gradients, just simply click here. And now you can see your gradient added here. And of course you can always go back to this. So you go to the gradient tool and you can manipulate it, maybe change the colors, select one again. You might think that's slightly wrong. Again, go back to that one there and you can change the color. So go maybe for that one, that one there, I might decide, you know what, I want that pink instead. And so on. Again, simply select the Move tool. With that, go up here, go to Gradients again. With the Move tool selected, you've now got the gradient there. And again, you can just simply click here. So add current fill to palette. So click that, and again, you've got another gradient from that image. Well, all you need to do then is simply go here, select this, and then go down the bottom and just delete it. So you might not need it anymore, so remove it. And now you've got your gradient. To apply the gradient, simply go over here, select the gradient tool, then go to the panel, click that, any of the gradients, and then you can manipulate it using the gradient tool. So also at this point, you can change your colors, of course, modify it in many ways again. But you've now got this gradient and you can use it in future projects. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.